there! In this video, I want to showcase some of my skills in MySQL Workbench, which is transferable to other platforms such as Snowflake and DBT. Let's first do that by creating a table. Column 3. We need a semicolon here. We need ID as integer and as primary key and we want that to be auto incrementing in case someone adds more rows into the table we can have that to be increased as well first name as the bar chart and we, that can be any number of characters from I mean a few characters to 100 or even more it depends on the guidelines from your company and the information that you are dealing with. Last name, bar chart, the same. We, we want that to be 100 character. We want to have a column called job title. We want that to be 50 character. And last but not least, we want to have a column called city we want that to be uh, a bar chart as well with 50 character let's go ahead and create a table okay table is created let's add information into the table by inserting into example 3 we want to have first name, last name, job title, and city. Uh, we want to have values inserted into here. And then now I'm going to copy and paste from another tab to save time. Now we have added the first row. I'm going to copy and paste this four more times. And to copy and paste some information from here to here. Now let's run them individually. Now we want to have a look at the table. And that's our table. Now we want to update it. We want to say set first name as Jack where city is Texas. Now we can have a look at the table again. Jack, Texas. <laughs> we have a lot of Jacks here. <laughs> now we are going to deal with that later. Now we want to use another function called alter. We want to alter a column and its data type. Uh, 
or its length of varchar, for example. Let's do that by saying alter example three modify first name varchar two hundred. We are missing table here and I need to add a column so that MySQL Workbench understands what we are doing. Now that was done. Now let's have a look at the table and its columns to see what type of columns we have. Example 3. Already we have var char 200, 150, 50. Initially I had created that as 100, but now it's 200. Now we want to add a column and drop it just for the sake of an example here. Table example 3. Add column, let's say, salary. We want that to be var char, or we want that to be integer. Let's do that. And now we want to have a look at the table again. We have a column as salary here. Now we want to drop that column. Alter table, example 3, drop column salary. Now we want to have a look at the table again, and that's it, and that column is gone.